high. As in HTML5, we have already seen a couple of ways of storing the data in the web browser that is the local storage and session storage under web storage chapter. Now it's time to go a bit bigger in scenario. Here we are going to store a larger amount of data in the web browser using SQL. So here we are actually going to discuss about the web SQL where we will store the data in the browser memory and we use SQL for doing some database related operations as we do that in the normal databases in SQL based databases. So I'm supposing that you know the basic of SQL statements. If you don't, we will see the syntax in the implementation as well. So don't worry about it. You will get to know about it. So basically is a web page API for storing data in databases that can be queried using the variant of SQL. As I just said, like here, we are going to use SQL for retrieving the data uh, from the browser memory. This API is supported by Google Chrome, Opera, Safari and any of the Android browser. So here in the implementation, as you know, we are using Google Chrome and it is capable enough of implementing the web SQL. Nowadays, WebSQL is not up to that mark because we nowadays use IndexedDB in HTML5. But still, some in your previous or old projects, you may find the implementation of WebSQL. So we are also considering that in this tutorial. So let's see a practical implementation of making the WebSQL in HTML5. So now in this implementation, as you can see here, we are focusing majorly on JavaScript. So here JavaScript will provide us some methods which will be supported definitely by HTML5 and using which we will be able to put some SQL over the web. So let's see what is all here. So first of all, let me show you what I have placed in the body so that it will be easy for the end. Uh, so inside the body, as you can see, let me just scroll it down. You can see there is just a div with the id called status. So this div will be used whenever I would put some data inside the body. All right, like some messages. So it will all be shown inside this div only. Now let's come to the head section where the script tag is available and all the JavaScript code is done. So basically what I have done here, first of all, there is a variable called db in which I'm calling the open database method. So by the time this open database method will be called one reference of this database will be sent to this DB and in the future, whenever I like to do some operation with it, I will use this object only. Now, my DB is the name of the database that is the version of it and test DB that is the description of my database and at last you can see it is nothing but the size so this database is occupying 2 MB so it's just about the bytes number of bytes you want to pass so 2 into 1024 will make it 2 KB and again it will be multiplied by 1024 will make it 2 MB and there is a variable called message so I will use this particular variable whenever I would like to print anything in the status div tag which was there in the body. Now let's start doing some transactions. As you can see, I have done a couple of transactions here. So whenever I will like, I will do that. I will use this callback function right here inside. So as soon as this transaction method will be called, it will invoke this callback function using which I'm doing some set of operations. Like first of all, TX dot execute SQL. So here, in this, I am passing SQL command for creating a table if it doesn't exist. So if not exist, the name of the table is logs. All right. And inside that I am using the ID that which is unique and log, which will be containing some string inside. So this ID like one, two, whichever you want to put and log where you will put the actual data. You can put more fields, but I'm just making it short and simple. After that, what I'm doing is I will say insert into logs, the couple of fields like ID and log, the two field names. After that values keyword and then 
value for column 1 and column 2 like the normal SQL if you are aware of SQL commands you will be quite comfortable with this so in the same way I have executed a couple of commands insert into logs and then the values alright and then at the end I am just putting some values in the message like message is log message created and row inserted alright and then what I will do I will put this particular value this particular message in the status that is the div so how will I do that first I will have to access that using the ID selector that is hash so document dot query selector I will just access that and using the inner HTML property I will set the message the next thing which I want to do is the retrieval so again for that I will start another transaction followed by a callback function and this time it's going to be the select statement like select asterisk from log that means all the columns and all the records will be fetched so if it gets a result again this callback function will start executing in which the result will be stored in the second parameter so depending on how many rows I retrieved that I'll just check that like results dot row dot length and that value will be stored in this len alright so when I will execute this any loop I will use this particular value so but for now I just said like msg rows found like how many rows found currently I inserted 2 so it will show me 2 alright now the same value will be set to the div status as I have done earlier in the same way again it will be done and now I wanted to print the value every time so for that again this loop is executed this loop is starting from 0 to less than 2 since the value for now in this example of len will be 2 so it will be from 0 and 1 this loop will be executed for the 2 time and in each time the row will be retrieved like rows dot item item at 0th row and first row that is the one first row and the second row and which column I want to read log alright so only log value will be coming so now I can put that particular value in the inner HTML and both the values that is log 1 and log 2 will be printed so let's see uh, let me just save this particular program come to the browser so after refreshing you can see I got all the messages that is log message created and row inserted found rows 2 and both the values that is log 1 and log 2 so this is how you can start doing some basic operations with the web SQL using the JavaScript inside HTML5 tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning